how did this topic of climate change become so political? It's a world you deal with every day. I, I can't imagine what you have to deal with. But what, what's your perspective on why, why we're here? Well, I think it became uh, political for a couple of reasons. One, uh, relatively early in the game, some uh, political strategists decided that if the Republican Party was worried about potential regulation around climate change, they needed to question climate science. That was back in the beginning of the 90s. The feeling was that if the public ever accepted the science of climate change, they might accept regulation of the emissions responsible that maybe business wouldn't like, uh, maybe uh, some of the Republican members of Congress wouldn't like. And so there was really an explicit decision by some folks to question the science as a way of fending off so it's really more uh, about excessive the regulation. Well, it's more the, about the solutions than the science. That, so. well, but their feeling was, and this was actually expressed in a famous memo that was leaked from a well-known Republican strategist, the feeling was that if you lose the argument on the science, if the public ever accepts the science of the reality and magnitude of human-caused climate change, that it would almost automatically follow that regulations would be embraced, that some folks who support the status quo, which is 85 percent dependence of our energy economy on fossil fuels, would be unhappy. Yes. But the second thing I think that was a factor at the end of the 90s, it was apparent that then Vice President Al Gore was going to be the Democratic candidate. And I think there was a feeling among many Republicans that climate change was Al Gore's issue, so they yes. needed to be against it. Yeah, I, and I've that not cited Al Gore once in a that, paper, and I get that all the time. That, that produced a further polarization sure. uh, in which Republicans who had previously embraced the reality of climate change and talked in sensible ways about solutions backed away from it because they had decided it was a Democratic issue, which of course it shouldn't be. Well, it should be a bipartisan issue. How often do you meet with the president or get FaceTime with him? Well, I typically see the president uh, anywhere from one to three times in a week. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, often it's very brief. Sure. Um, He's a busy guy. We, we, we learn to get a lot done in a few minutes. Sure. Uh, sometimes it's just walking him from the Oval Office to an event that's about science and technology, honoring uh, science and math teachers in the East Wing. Right. Or... Uh, visiting with him just before he meets with the winners of the National Medals of Science or the That's U.S. Right. Nobel Laureates. Uh, other times it's a major briefing on uh, a topic of interest. This is a president who really gets it in terms of how and why science and technology matter.